Hey YouTube, welcome back to Homegrown Outdoors where we exclusively review outdoor gear that is made in America. And today we are looking at the Benchmade North Fork Folder. Uh, Benchmade is, is one of the companies now that so far as I know everything that they're, they're offering uh, is made in the U.S. And there's some other uh, great knife companies out there and a lot of companies that offer some really cool U.S. made knives. Uh, but those, some of those same manufacturers also have some imports in there so you kind of have to pay attention. Again, to, to my knowledge, everything that Benchmade's doing at this point is made in the U.S. I think they did import maybe some fillet-style knives years ago or something like that, and I'm sure somebody out there will educate me on a, on another um, another exception to the rule. But uh, Benchmade, great great company, uh, making these knives in the U.S. Again, this is the North Fork Folder uh, One Three uh, or sorry One Five Zero Three One Dash Two. Uh, this thing is offered in two configurations. So this one is diamond wood, which is the stabilized uh, wood material that we'll talk about a little bit more later. It's also offered in G10 scales, uh, sort of a black and gray, cool looking knife. Uh, so in the box you get your use and care instructions, the access card that comes under the clip, as well as a little Benchmade logo carrying bag there. So that's pretty nice. So that all goes in there. Um, $185 retail for the um, for the North Fork. About $160 on the street if you look around. I think that's what you're going to end up paying for it. Um, as you can see on the box, this is part of Benchmade's Hunt Collection. Um, I think it's a little on the small side for a hunting knife, but they do describe it as a compact hunting knife. You know, this would make a great backup if you were carrying a fixed blade uh, as your primary but wanted to carry a folder as a second knife it would certainly fit there it really has impressed me as an everyday carry knife that's where i've been using it um, and I've, I've really appreciated it in that role so um, reviewing the knife it does have the access lock those of you who are familiar with benchmade are going to be familiar there uh, the access lock is ambidextrous so it's uh, it's going to work either way the knife also has thumb studs on both sides and um, their standard pocket clip uh, that can be mounted on either side so the knife is 100 percent ambidextrous the same user experience right-handed as left-handed uh, and it is in the tip up configuration when you use the pocket clip uh, it also has a lanyard hole up here if you decide to carry it that way um, s30v blade uh, so great, uh, great everyday carry blade, as well as um, as well as a hunting blade holds the edge well. Pretty tough material, without breaking the bank too badly. Uh, jimping this uh, this texturing on the spine in two locations. So here as well as up here. Uh, so if you're doing a little bit of detail work, uh, you've, you've got a bit there to to get some purchase. So that's uh, certainly helpful in the uh, the hunt side of things. Um, the stabilized wood that I mentioned earlier, so that uses wood, but they inject resin into it. So you keep the wood grain, and, and I think this is a pretty attractive one. Uh, but you get a little bit more resiliency to the elements with that resin that's been injected in there. Uh, you also see stainless steel liners here. Uh, so compared to something like a bug out that does not have liners, the, the knife feels like it has a little more heft to it and, and certainly a little more rigidity. The knife is not heavy by any stretch of the imagination, but those liners do give it a little bit different feel. Closed, uh, the knife is 3.9 inches long, open uh, 6.97, so just shy of 7 inches long. Uh, open, blade length 2.97 inches. The handle thickness is uh, 0.53, so not thick, but again, uh, ju just enough thickness where uh, it does feel good in the hand. Uh, doesn't feel like you're, you know, you're trying to hold onto something that's super skinny. Uh, weight with the diamond wood handles is 3.16 ounces. Slightly heavier with G10s at 3.41. Uh, so those are the sort of the statistics there. For size comparison, uh, this is a mini bug out that has a little bit of residue from a box that I just opened. Uh, so this is one that we've done a review on. Uh, previously, uh, so again, looking at them side by side, the mini bug out is certainly a bit smaller uh, than the North Fork um, in, in every dimension. So looking at, at them closed side by side, um, a bit smaller there. 
the North Fork again has a little more heft, uh, just a little bit wider. You know, it feels more substantial in hand. And I'm a, I'm a fan of the mini bite out as well, but uh, just, just a different kind of knife. Uh, and then looking at them again side by side, more or less lining up the pivots. Uh, so if you're familiar with the bug out, the mini bug out, that gives you an idea of how those two stack up. This is another knife that I also used for size comparison previously, the Buck 110 Slim. Um, so this one, the, the 110, again, longer handle and, and blade, so sort of going the other direction as compared uh, to the North Fork. Uh, the 110, holding up to its name, is pretty slim as well. So... Um, a bit wider with the North Fork as compared to the Buck 110. Buck 110 is in a little bit different class, certainly a different price point. I think the the, uh, the North Fork is is a, a, a much more refined knife, more refined design for sure. But for price or um, size comparison, that Buck 110 platform is pretty familiar to a lot of folks, so I thought that might be useful. So we'll take those back out of the way. Overall, uh, I've really been happy with the North Fork. Uh, this is probably my favorite knife right now for what I own. Um, operation is super smooth, even smoother uh, than the Mini Bug Out. I, I don't know if it's just the heft in the handle uh, that makes it feel a bit smoother to me, um, but I, I've really appreciated the, the handling uh, of the North Fork overall. Sharp out of the box, again, S30V steel, uh, great blade material. You know, sh uh, shave, uh, shave your arm hair or, or cut uh, paper right out of the box. Um, good lockup, good centering right out of the box, no drag uh, or anything like that. Uh, lock up top to bottom, nothing at all there. I can get just a little bit of lateral play out of it, uh, but as I mentioned in my, my mini bug out video, I also prefer the, the blade to just sort of drop there, so if anything I may lean a little on the loose end uh, of tuning, but that can be adjusted at that pivot there with that torque screw. Um, so yeah, a, a little adjustment, you can make it, make it whatever you want. Overall, great size and weight, I think, for an everyday carry knife. Um, it is small enough that I've been carrying it in the fifth pocket of my jeans, so that small pocket on the right-hand side, it fits in there and, and, and clips in securely. So if your pockets tend to be on the full side, it is nice to have that flexibility. But despite being that small, it really does uh, feel like you've got something in your hand uh, and it feels solid. Uh, so I'm, I've been very excited about it. One criticism, and it's not really anything that I care about, there's a little bit of a recurve uh, in, in the edge there. Uh, so you got good belly for you know skinning or, or, or dressing an animal there. The recurve probably doesn't serve much of a practical purpose, uh, but some folks worry that that little bit might make it, the, the blade a little bit trickier to sharpen. I'm not too worried about that, and if you are worried about it, you know, Benchmade um, will sharpen uh, your knife for you for free for life. So you send it to them, they'll sharpen it back up and lubricate it and clean it up and fix anything that might need fixing and send it back to you. So um, I'm not that worried about uh, my ability to sharpen that knife. Uh, and again, with, with that Benchmade service, I think that pretty well squares that away too. So overall, very happy with the Benchmade North Fork. I hope you liked the review. Again, if you're interested in more American-made outdoor gear reviews, uh, please like and subscribe. Thanks a lot. See you next time.